them kissed each other, and then they became uh, gay sex uh, partners <laughs> together. <laughs> Let me ask you this. We've got Ricky here. How old are you, Ricky? I'm six. Ricky, uh, what do you know about homosexuals? <laughs> They're bad, Mr. Cosby. Oh! <laughs> oh, we said that they're bad. They're going to hell. They're what? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Free bill. That, I was worried when my sister was uh, sick the other night that she got Spanish flied. Yeah. That was mm. one of the things I was considering. You know that shit is fucking didn't. poison? What? Spanish fly is a Spanish po- fly. It's not an aphrodisiac. It's a fucking like neurotoxin. Yeah, it makes you pass yeah. out. I thought it was roofies. It's sick. Oh. I thought it was like an aphrodisiac. No, that's like what Bill Cosby mushrooms. was giving women. <laughs> no, no. Oh. I thought it was like a like when people shiitake mushroom. Because I had to look it up. I was like, what the fuck is Spanish fly? I thought it was something you buy in like a gas station. And it was like, you know. Uh, oh, like one of those horny. boner Yeah, you know, like something. chocolate or something. Oysters. People say oysters are an aphrodisiac. Yeah. Dude, this cat really is trying to eat me right now, dude. It's killer. Killer. Absolute she's killer. a little fucking juicy morsel. She's flicking her little tail, Ooh, staring at you. Oh, you pet the cat, and then you fuck the cat, and it's <laughs> ass, and it's pussy. I fucked the cat, Mr. Cosby. You have gay sex <laughs> with a cat, and then... The... He should have his own show called Bill Cosby says the f- most fucked up things. <laughs> the most fucked the most up fucked shit. Up yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Kids say a bunch of fucked up shit. <laughs> Ooh, my ass hurts. I just don't think six million is a reasonable number, Mr. Cosby. You said the Holocaust didn't happen. <laughs> Did you heard him say it, folks? <laughs> He's all cost revisionist. He thinks it happened. Where are the graves? There ain't a, he said there's not any graves. You can't find a single one of them. All they have is the museum. Seems like there's more museums than Jews, even. It's, if they were, if anybody's gonna pull off a big conspiracy like that, it's probably the people that control the media and entertainment. Exactly. <laughs> Hold Mr. on, Cosby. I'm getting a call from my agent. He said to drop me, and now I'm being accused of rape <laughs> <laughs> by 57 <Yeah>. women. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and we're never entering this episode of kids say the darndest things and that's how it happened you're listening to the hotep podcast you're listening to Cedric the Entertainer's hotep podcast broadcasting live from Guangzhou province and that's the thing, man. They set him up like that. No, <laughs> 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 you uh, finish. <laughs> down. down. What is he, Vietnamese now? Yeah. Yeah. Ding go, yeah. I'm bang, 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 go, bang, go, 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 If only Bill Cosby hadn't tried to buy NBC, man. Fuck, don't, 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 Is that Vietnamese? I don't know. There's probably a language like that. There's, probably. There's people out there just, you know, just Make casually being like, boom, dow, boom, boom, That's <laughs> being to me. So, dude, chill. Chill out, bro. Chill out, man. That's aggressive, bro. Stop having your language be like that. Mm-hmm. I can see why English is the most popular language in the world. It's chill, bro. It's very chill. It it's probably not has, chill at all. probably has nothing to do with anything else. Nope. It's probably dude, it's the language. It's probably people in in like in far off countries away from England just heard English from the distance and they were like, "Let's speak that." And stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just heard it. They were yeah. like, "Hey no guys, way, brother!" They they saw them sailing yeah. some English. Hey, people come, like, over come over here. here. You can have all of our spices, Eat some no, stuff, and some no, pussy. No, they didn't want them. To take, they didn't want the English to come. Take our spices and pussy. <laughs> <laughs> take our spices and pussy. Yeah. Oh no no. no. <laughs> I want to flag with the the don't tread on me snake, but it says take our spices. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how the British got everything. Yeah. 
Come over here, guys. <laughs> just the flag. We got plenty of pussy. This is actually the original. <laughs> this is the actual flag. The original flag of Canada. <laughs> It's a snake that says, please tread on me and take our spices and pussy. It's a, it's a little snake wearing a headdress. It says, take our spices and That's pussy. true. Oh, fuck. No, man. Guys, people used English to oppress the world. No, Enslave no, the world, no, rape the world, yeah, t- no steal way. all their resources. No chance. For God and country. Fuck them. No, you guys don't know the real history behind this. What history? But behind the English language, Dan Carlin, Dan Carlin, Howard Zinn, some hard Howard Zinn, dude. I'm reading oh, man, Howard Zinn. I forget, Zinn. I forget who I was talking to the other day, but like uh, Dan Carlin's hard R history came up again, mm-hmm. and it, it was a girl, and she was like, she was like, wait for real? <laughs> we were like, yeah, Dan Carlin has two podcasts. <laughs> she was like, no way. <laughs> It's like, yeah, you should check yeah, it it's out. It's the same exact it's one, but this, he says the N-word randomly. It's the same guy, and he uses hard R. the hard R N-words. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Because you know he drops a soft day every once in a while of on course. the regular yeah. one. Yeah, sometimes he messes up. On the, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, th- that's the rule, right? Is that all people can use soft A, but only black people can use hard R? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think well, that's why don't what you that drop a couple right about. now. What? Why don't you say some of them? Uh, I'm, I'm, it's my, you you know, already I'm, said well, the one slur on the show. It's on my birthday. What? You, what slur? You don't remember? It is your birthday. That's true. Yeah. We did wish you a very nice happy birthday. Happy you guys birthday. didn't sing that. You said that I was a rapist <laughs> in your birthday song. <laughs> but we also said happy birthday. Yeah, dude. You yeah, fucking you asshole. You accused me of doing one of the worst crimes a person can do. I guess what? Faking a hate crime? That is that is pretty terrible. Trying honestly. to start a race war by faking a hate crime? <laughs> the worst crime of all? To get revenge on the Mueller report? Mm-hmm. <laughs> to, to revenge it? Oh, fuck. What's going on with that stuff? Is it good? The Mueller or? report? I'm, yeah. I'm not even kissing my girlfriend until I see the full thing. <laughs> Me yeah. too, dude. I got to see the full unredacted Mueller report. It'd be great if they release it and it's 3,000 pages like, Trump's bad. Orange Cheeto, bad guy. <laughs> we don't like him. This, uh, this, oh, this guy's a real piece of work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just like, mm-hmm. it's just written It's like just a, Michael Ian Black's tweets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be, that'd be pretty funny, huh? It would be good. Yeah. That would be good. Oh, what, what do you got there? Yeah, no collusion. Did you hear what he said? He said that the, the, it's a witch hunt. <laughs> rigged witch hunt. It's a rigged witch hunt. Harvey okay. Weinstein was a really influential guy. I gotta blow my nose again. You gotta blow your nose, bro. Damn, Nick, you're sick, bro. We should go get some spicy food after this or something. Yeah. Man. Spicy food is is it clears out your sinuses. Yeah, brother. but it fucks up your stomach. Yeah, if you got a weak ass little bitch ass stomach. Everyone, come on, man. You, you what? You know, Nick's stomach isn't like. He's not like a... Oh, you're accusing Nick. He doesn't of have angle. a Punjabi-style stomach. <laughs> yeah. He's got a weak Irish stomach. We all know that. That's true. Shit. It's only supposed to eat potatoes and shit. And blood sausage. What are you talking about, my stomach? You're a weak Irish stomach. Oh, yeah. I was saying we should get some spicy foods to clear out your sinuses. I used... Actually, it was up until, like, this year, I had no problem with spicy food. Yeah, me too. Because people used to do that joke about, like, you know, oh, yeah, I ate an Indian food last night. I'm Now I'm shitting it all out. Right. It's worse on the way out than it is on the way in. I never understood that. I'm like, you don't have taste buds in your ass. What are you talking right. about? <laughs> and then... I do. Fucking, that's and, why I love getting fucked in the ass so much. Yeah, yeah, Because I love yeah. the taste of cock. Yeah, that's why That's I'm why always, I put lollipops in my ass. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was the most popular guy in prison because I'd snuggle, smuggle Jolly Ranchers in there. <laughs> they call me move. they call me El Pinata. But but isn't that because it burns? They on call the way me Pinata, bro. <laughs> Pinata. Because I got a bunch of candy <laughs> heated in my ass. <laughs> I'm the most most popular pa- papechuco in prison. Okay. I get I get jumped by everyone and the candy flies out of my ass. Hey, que, que, so, que so huero, brother. I got fucking candy. So, I got so much candy in my ass. It's like a birthday party in here. 
<laughs> it's like a birthday. P- I'm turning the whole jail into a fucking birthday party. <laughs> that's the piñata. <laughs> Nobody's going to fuck because I see. Look, man, that's that's the thing, man. I'm I'm five foot one, seventy eight pounds. <laughs> you know, I'm coming in here. I know they're gonna try and have sex with me. <laughs> All right, I look like Josie. R.I.P. to a legend. I'm wearing the largest size they got at Oshkosh. I still, would, <laughs> I'm still swimming in these clothes, you know. And that's why I said I'm trying to not get get my my ass my poo what's my culo my culo my culo uh, my culo fuck ra- rape chucho. So I'm like, <laughs> you know, why don't I why don't I tell people my name is a piñata? <laughs> and I filled my ass with candy because every guy's everybody's gonna get mad at the guy that fucks all the candy. <laughs> right, that's true. That's you know that fucks it up for everyone. But I, hey, man, I'm going around like doing little break dances and acting like a little vending machine. <laughs> I'm shitting out fucking tootsie rolls and airheads <laughs> in the middle of the of the recreation area, mm-hmm. and they're like, "Man, Josie's cool as shit." And I'm like, "No, I, I was trying to go buy the pinata, but you know, <laughs> whatever. They can call me Josie if they want, as long as they don't rape me. As long as I'm not getting getting rap rap a poopa." <laughs> rap a poopa. Rap, Right, and as long as these repistas, <laughs> st- these repapistas stay away from me. Repetistas, it's a yeah. good name, dude. The piñata, the piñata. And it's a it's a five foot one Mexican guy that's got a bunch of candy just shoved all in his colon. Just fill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm one How of do those. they keep getting candy in there? I'm the one warden. Of the, yeah, right. The warden's just like, God damn it! We gotta <laughs> stop this guy. <laughs> yep. That'd be fun. A movie like Animal House, but it's about a prison gang. Mm-hmm. Aryan Brotherhood. <laughs> Look at me, I'm the human zit. And he just shits cum all over. <laughs> 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 Look at me, I'm a human. I'm a human zit. And he just yeah, <laughs> <laughs> all over some guy's face. <laughs> <laughs> Mouth full of cum. Farts yeah. cum in the cafeteria. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's some like 19 year old kid that got caught with like with marijuana, and he's just nervously trying to take a shower. And they're all like watching him as he takes his clothes off. <laughs> a woo guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> boy, 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 boy. Animal gang. Animal gang raped that 19 year old boy. <laughs> Because we rape around the clock tonight. Yeah. What's Greg? What's Gregory Marmalard's deal? He's like a in the Aryan Brotherhood. Gregory Marmalard. I say we're gonna become the finest group of gang members. Oh, like the, guy, yeah. The, um, yeah Gregor, the rich guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gregory Marmalard. That's his name? Gregory Marmalard? Gregory Marmalard. That's a <laughs> fucking awesome name. Uh, no. The actor of the Marmalard? Greg Marmalard is the 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 rich guy in Animal House. I think. Whoa. Or it's Revenge of the Nerds. I can't remember. All I know is oh wait, the honest, actor or I remember real as a character. kid, people like those movies. I'm like, well, I'm not going to college. This is yeah. <laughs> This will never I'm I, no thanks. Because you didn't want to go to parties? No. The socializing aspect? No, what? fuck that. More school, and it's optional. They don't even have to go to school. They get to rock out at parties. Yeah, I don't know. And their house is messy, too. Damn, that's so wild. I don't... Yeah, I guess I always assumed that was... We lost the fucking bar! <laughs> <laughs> right? Marmalade. Randy says that at some point. Who says that? He's, uh, Buscemi's, like, standing outside. He's like, we lost the bar, and then he downs that thing of Jack Daniels. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I just remember seeing tits and you also... S- no, it's not Buscemi. Or, yeah, um, the other one. The dead guy. Belushi. Yeah, Belushi. Go. Wow. Is Steve Buscemi the third Belushi brother? <coughs> yeah. He was just so ashamed of Jim that he wanted to change his last name. That's a good take, man. Thanks, brother. <laughs> what are they, some sort of Armenian type? They're of? Albanian, Albanian, unfortunately. Oh, sorry. Sounds like Albanians are the superior don't, of don't the even, two. Don't even dare say that shit. Eldis, the Buscemi brothers. Those are three of the funniest L- people I know Liza about. Dushku. Le- Liza Dushku. Dushku. She's hot. She's hilarious, too. <laughs> um, yeah, they got some good guys, honestly. But fuck them. We got Telly Savalas, Kojak. You got Uncle Jesse. We got Uncle Jesse. We got Jennifer Aniston. No one wants to talk about that. 
Her she name's like Anast- Anastanopolis or some shit like that. Jennifer Anus Stain. Anus Stain. Just get her asshole bleached. <laughs> yep. Dumb or, <laughs> unveil my spec script for friends in which <laughs> Rachel has to get her asshole bleached. <laughs> They're like, you, you understand the character's name is Rachel, right? Not <laughs> <laughs> so no one told you life was fucking something. Just handing in a spec script to an agent, and I've written the lyrics to the theme song. <laughs> in my spec script, it takes up four pages. I don't know. I know this is supposed to be like 22 pages, but I think it was commercials and shit. You have to put like maybe yeah, this would be write like a commercial. Yeah, this would be like a there'll be like a PSA or like a breaking news thing. So there's going to be extra time in between. But yeah. basically, in this one, Rachel goes and gets her asshole bleached, but the doctor's horny, so <laughs> <laughs> he keeps coming the in his doctor <laughs> bleaching her asshole. <laughs> this is a fundamental misunderstanding yeah. of every part of this. <laughs> the doctor keeps coming. And he gets some cum on her ass, and then when she's fucking Ross later, he's like, "What the f- what the hell is this fucking cum?" She's like, "I wanted to get my my asshole bleached for you as a surprise, but the, the doctor was horny." And then you find we find out that really it was because there was a video of Joey from one of his acting gigs on the TV while he was doing the asshole bleaching. Oh, so it was gay for him. And the doctor's like, "Ross, I didn't cum on Rachel's ass." I, it was because I'm gay, yeah. and there's this guy yeah. Joey on TV, yeah. who's gay. And then, but the doctor's name is Doctor Beverly something, and so he's like, "Turns out Doctor Beverly was just coming because of Joey." The Joey's like, "Chandler, this is hot chick Beverly or whatever." And he thinks so, it's a chick. Yeah, he thinks it's a girl. Oh. So Joey's that's a classic. Joey, Joey, and Chandler are sitting in the living room, uh. mutually masturbating to the idea of a female doctor. They're leather chairs, and then and they're then recliners. yeah, Jennifer comes in and they're, both being, they're like, you know, she walks in. She's like, "Did Ross tell you what happened?" And they're like, "Yeah, we're both masturbating to that female doctor." And she's like, "Female," <laughs> and then it's a tight shot on Joey, and it's like. Next, next, coming up on Seinfeld. (laughs) Coming up on Frasier. I love that the doctor. I just imagine the doctor. (laughs) Rachel's ass knocking on the door to explain. Oh, by the way, Ross, it's not that I wanted to fuck Rachel. Like he knows Ross. No, Ross has to. Ross confronts him. He's like, "You came on my girlfriend's ass." I I thought he just knocked on the door. No, no. Ross is like, "I'm gonna go see this fucking doctor." (laughs) <laughs> so Ross Ross shows up to the doctor's office and he has to borrow a leather jacket from Joey uh-huh. to look tough. Mm. He's like, I'm worried I'm not going to be tough enough. So Ross shows up uh, uh, to the, and he's wearing all Joey's leather stuff. Uh, to look leather like tough pants, enough. leather chaps. So he's got a leather jacket on, no pants, because Joey didn't have any. Uh, <laughs> and a le- leather hat. <laughs> he shows up completely nude under right. otherwise. And the yeah. doctor... Is like, what's going on? He's like, you you came on my girlfriend's ass, and that's rape. And he's like, it's not. I'm gay. <laughs> you can't tell anyone. Obviously, like, you know. He's like, I'm gay. And then, you know. So then, then later, Ross is like, the doctor's gay. They're like, the doctor's not gay. It's like, and then, but I don't know. A cameo from Jack from Will and Grace. He's like. Oh, gay people only tell other gay people that they're gay. <laughs> and then oh, Ross so realizes he that, he th- that the doctor thinks he's gay because he showed up wearing a leather oh, daddy outfit. And his dick was out. And <laughs> <laughs> just, well, that might... Not wearing right. pants. Wearing yeah, yeah, Because yeah. he just he wants to look boots. tough. Yeah. <laughs> but he looks jacket. like a leather daddy. No, sure. uh-huh. Anyways, that's oh, my that's spec a for mix <laughs> up. That's a classic mix up. That's my, my spec script for friends that I see. I hate that when Sent you're trying to look the, tough. The big Hollywood hunches. I love it, dude. Yeah. I love that shit. Well, uh, folks, I got to tend to my nose here. And then go get my laundry before the the fucking shit closes. That's right. Thanks for listening, everyone. Uh, starting in May, we're going to be doing Funny Moms every Monday, except the first Monday of the month. So come out to that, and we're there on the twenty. Second. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Right. Okay. I am gay, and my penis is small.
Robot noises. Hard dick robots assemble. That's so, a little teaser. So how's everyone? I doing? got an animated pilot in the in the works. That's a little taste. A robot, a pilot. Yeah. It's, it's like Gundam, uh, Gundam Warrior, but. Uh-huh. But the only thing that changes is the penis. The cock gets... You get a metal penis. Mm Mm-hmm. And then... Different alloys. Right. Normally, your penis just looks like a toy car or a bus. Mm Mm-hmm. And then it transforms into a metal penis. Your soft cock. My soft cock cock is a little VW Hot Wheels car. (laughs) And then when it gets hard, it's a sword. A brown brown and, like, white sword. Nice. Thanks, (laughs) Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at XLR cables. Oh yeah, you Are thinking about upgrading? Up? Yeah, I figured I might as well replace uh, the equipment that breaks half the time. When are we gonna have a futuristic studio, dude? Never. Make your living room. As soon as Ralph's dad builds it for us, we should we should have a living room that's like, or we should make your living room a fucking. We all have like giant chairs that go back all the way. Gaming chairs, dude. But they recline completely, so we're, we can lay down if we need to. Oh, like a like a and you're flying ha- first we class on helmets. Emirates, exactly. Yeah, we should all have our little booth like we're flying first class on Emirates, <laughs> and we should have a stewardess while we record. Yeah, and I don't want to see your hair, dude. I want to see Absolutely. it covered up, like a oh sec- shit. Yeah. That's what they're doing. They're still. That's why they wear they those. They figure hats. out a way to be hot. They're hot, but still Sharia law. Yeah, interesting. That's why they look like that. Didn't didn't they buy another airline or something? Didn't they buy Air France, Emirates, or something like that, or I Delta? Know. I don't know. All I know is that they sponsor a lot of soccer team jerseys. They do. That's why I support them. Cause the soccer teams have no problem, like doing business with just slavery countries. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and being owned by by oligarchs and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Nick, what are you doing? Shopping? I'm looking for a replacement XLR cable. <laughs> what are you looking for? What are your top qualifications I don't know, in an XLR re- cable? Reading some article about uh, the best ones. I don't know. Something that's uh, th- not going to have a bunch of interference, I guess. Sturdy. Who wrote the article? I don't know. Some a guy. fucking genius, dude. Thewirecutter.com. Why do website. I trust that website? It's your favorite website. They've led me astray on half of the purchases. Really? I've taken. Yeah. I think when I moved into a new apartment, I was like just looking at whatever wire cutter told me to buy with like yeah. can openers and stuff, and I think they were like wrong half the time. Damn, it's here in New York. We but it's nice having someone offices. tell me what to do. You know what I mean? You're a dom. You want a dom? I just well, You're I don't want to have to like just, you know. You're look a sub, at different and, the, and the website is items. your dom. I just don't like the I don't like the stress of not you know. Yeah, you want daddy to tell you, get on your knees, get on all fours. I need daddy wire cutter to tell (laughs) me. Daddy wire cutter. (laughs) I just love to see a picture of what that guy looks like, though. Oh, dude, you know he's squat, but stocky. Yeah. 5'3", ripped. You like consumer uh, report things, Nick? No, not really. I mean, I kind of bought all the shit that I wanted to buy, and it doesn't work on me anymore. Whoa. You don't trust anyone? No, it's just like, you know, I mean, I used to, when I didn't have money, I would go to Best Buy and be like, damn, what if one day I could watch DVDs, (laughs) (laughs) but in a way that, like, a middle-aged man does, where there's a specific room for it, and... Oh, yeah, the home theater room. Yeah, I just wanted to be one of those, like, quiet fathers that, like, reads consumer reports and has too much money, but, you know, I mean, I I don't know, you buy 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 two TVs, it's like... I don't fucking care anymore. They're all good. The next thing is, yeah, buying a Porsche and leaving it running in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> the exhaust snake. Are you wearing the jacket and the gloves while you die? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they do have that, like, Ferrari jacket that they only let you buy at the Ferrari dealership if you have a Ferrari. Nuh-uh. I think so, yeah. Is it nice? It, no. No, it's I not have even to have that it. nice. <laughs> I have to have it. Yeah. <laughs> well, does anyone, if anyone here has a Ferrari and is a fat man... Or I guess just go in and buy the fattest size they have and mail it to me. I will give you four thousand dollars or four G's for the or a hundred or whatever it costs. <coughs> yeah, well, you got to fit in the Ferrari first, fat boy. I can fit in a Ferrari, bitch. How do you know? You've never tried. I know, dude. You've been in one. 
They got because they make them for fucking leaders of industry. Mm. You know what I mean? Men who've grown fat off their riches. That's, That's what I am. Someone was telling me you need to. I guess maybe it was even my girlfriend was telling me that like if you have a car like that, you need to pay a race car driver to like take it around the track to like keep it functional. If you have like a what? like an exotic car like that. No, dude. You have to pay to get cucked by some fucking you gotta Mario pay like a, son. Yeah, you got to pay a real race car driver to like make it go fast. Are you sure your girlfriend wasn't trying to introduce the idea of, of a new, hiring another men cock. to yeah. use things in the way you're not capable of? She probably was. <laughs> it's cool yeah. that she thinks of herself as a Ferrari. <laughs> yeah. And not a fucking Kia Sorento or no, she's like a whatever fucking... type of Korean bullshit. <laughs> a Daewoo. <laughs> Daewoo Lanos, a day, a day baby. Woo, a Daewoo with rims on it. That's <laughs> <laughs> That's what Dasha is. No, no, not Dasha. The other one. Oh, I didn't know this. My was... other girlfriend. I didn't. I. Joyce. Oh no, no, it's my I, current Joy, girlfriend. Your Korean girlfriend Joyce, which is why I said <laughs> no. A well, she car, wasn't. She wasn't. And then the to imply that she's a wigger. <laughs> I, I, she was a wigger. I wasn't going to say her name, but, but I figured you'd be able to put it together. So. Well, you said it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I was. I had <laughs> As you said it multiple times. Because you weren't thinking about it. And yeah, just no. It was actually Dasha, surprisingly enough, who told me that yeah. if you have a Ferrari, you need to that pay. Makes, some again, guy. that totally makes sense. And it kind of now. And then she's like, you know what? I actually know a lot sense. of. I know a lot of race car drivers. She said after that. She d- she never we said that. We should all hang out. Yeah. Get to know each other. Did they have Russian brand cars like during the Soviet Union? Oh yeah, good point. Yeah, they did. Yeah. What were they called? There was a car that they. You go to? You ever go to the spy museum? No, said it's, it's like uh, the spy museum. They have like an exhibit of like the way they would smuggle people across the border and uh, from East Berlin into Chill Berlin. Oh, nice! Mm-hmm. Play- into to house go. music. Yeah. Berlin. Yeah, and then they had this like mannequin <laughs> jammed in like the fucking like engine bay of this shitty car. Whoa! <laughs> um, so it's hot as shit. What's that? So it must have been very hot. Yeah, yeah. I think there was like the most popular car in East Berlin was I think. I don't know. It may have been a German manufacturer. Now I can't remember. You know what? This is a piece of trivia that slipped out of my head. Oh, damn, dude. But yeah, no, a lot of like, uh, a lot of the cars in Cuba run off just like old Russian parts. Mm-hmm. Um, because, you know, they're all the, the, the bodies and are from like the fifties or whatever. Right. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I'm That's trying to, cool, I'm trying yeah. to have an old Russian ass car, dude. <laughs> a Rubreski. A Rubeski. Maybe called something like that. Yeah, a pre-falls of the Berlin Wall ca- Hell car, yeah, dude, riding yeah. around. I mean, they're like just they're pieces of shit. I think they just drove like all like uh, like two stroke. Just like, that's all I like need. Golf cart, yeah, kind of like golf cart yeah, engines. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Producing a lot of pollution. Mm-hmm. Good dude, stunting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we're all, I guess. Thanks for coming to see us in DC this oh, weekend. Oh yeah, thank you. That we're was all tight. sleepy from uh, how much fun we had. Yeah, dude, we've been tuckered out for four days. Um, we were all on cocaine the whole time. Yeah, we were just yipped up, mm-hmm. hardcore style. We had sex with a lot of male fans. Oh my god! You don't know that, but if you do the hundred dollar a month Patreon tier, you're you're eligible for cock mm-hmm. from us after the shows. What's good with you? you? Sleepy Nick? Uh, yeah, I'm okay. You guys see that the Mussolini's fucking granddaughter or some shit? Yeah, I'd fuck her. I would smash a hundred percent. She's got, a, she, she was she also got big old duck lips. She, she does, and she was also on uh, Italian Playboy apparently. Was she? So I think her titties are out there to be seen. It's sick that she's in the parliament. You know, you don't. She see is. Any... I didn't know that. I yeah, didn't do any like research a, on. She's this. like a member of their parliament. I think the she bitch is. is named I didn't Mussolini. Really do any research either. First of all, is she in, is she like married? Did she keep Mussolini around? I yeah, that doesn't make sense either because she's the granddaughter, but she's she's like, oh, no, I don't want to take your name, nah, dude. You don't see a lot of Hitlers in you know the. I'm telling you, dude. German parliament. Fascists are still pretty ch- like. They still are pretty proud. Greek fascists are still around, dude. Golden Dawn? Yeah. And they were like, they're around from like the 60s. They're oh, they down never for that stopped. shit. Yeah, Italy is the same fucking way, dude. What's her name, Mussolini? Whatever, dude. Angelica. Angelica. I fucked her. What? We all fucked her. For real? Um. Yeah, yeah. She got mad at Jim Carrey. <laughs> yeah. When did Jim Carrey start doing all these shitty ass drawings, dude? 
Why is um, that his thing now? Because he killed his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> He killed his 18-year-old girlfriend with bad drugs, so now he's dealt with it. Is it was that one of the deleted scenes for that 13 movie or whatever? The number... The, what was that? No, that yeah, the number 23. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He had to kill his girlfriend to be method. That movie was such a piece of shit. I, saw I it thought it was going to be so good. Yeah, me too. The trailer looked dope. I think I was a freshman year at college or sophomore year at college when I saw it. Yeah. What are you looking at? Nudes of that bitch now, Nick? No. I was looking at that car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whatever, man. Um, Let's see. Yeah, it's the Trabant. That's a good name, dude. Yeah. Was that the Russian car? It's the East, the car from East Germany. Oh, that they smuggled people through. Yeah, yeah, I remember just seeing that picture of the guy jammed in the engine bay. And yeah, but it's just this like shitty two-stroke engine. But it was like the most popular car in East Germany. Hell yeah, dude. It was basically a go-kart. That rocks. Trabant. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Sounds like a man, an African-American gentleman's name. Yeah. <laughs> Trabant. The Pontiac Trabant. That's a cool... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trabant, get your ass in here. <laughs> Why you got East Germans in your ass? Yeah, and, and that sort of thing. Yeah, that's good. Maybe a man named Trabant. Are you sure it wasn't a man named Trabant uh, that would sneak Germans in his ass? Oh, uh, n- no, it's a car. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm looking at it now. Just making sure. Yeah, no, I just checked. It's uh, You're sh- just a Can you double check that it's not a man's yeah, name I'm, Trabant? Yeah, I'm checking again. Hey, Siri. Uh, can you check and see if a man named Trabant snuck Germans in his ass? Yeah. Um, during Lights. the 1980s model Action. had no tachometer, no headlights or turn signals. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you just drive in the dark blind? <laughs> no. Oh, sorry. No headlights or turn signals indicator. So you had no way of knowing whether the headlights were on or off. No fuel gauge, no rear seat belts, no external fuel door. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to pour a mixture of gasoline and oil directly into the engine. <laughs> <laughs> Hell Damn, yeah, dude, dude. That rocks. Mm-hmm. I love how we front that like Ronald Reagan gave a good speech and that's why the Soviet Union fell apart. Not yeah. like they were driving fucking like clown cars around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was because Ronald Reagan gave a really scary speech. That's, yeah. 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 My man had on, practice. Bro. He was in Green Gables or whatever the fuck. Who? Or oh, smoking Reagan? Gun or whatever. He was in uh, actually the Naked Gun. This oh, speaking great. of the naked gun, my sister served O.J. Simpson last night. So this oh, is how really? this is how at shit, her restaurant. This, this car is a piece of shit, right? But because it, the company was a state monopoly, you just sit on a thirteen-year waiting list. <laughs> 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 that rules, dude. Fuck. And uh, apparently, the juice said to my sister, she looked like a woman who enjoyed a nice massage. <laughs> <laughs> OJ was trying to fucking fuck your sister, dude. I guess. Yeah, and then he said... Did she? No. Why no. not? That'd be funny to fuck OJ Simpson. Honestly, it would be an honor. You it know? would be, dude. Hall of Famer. <laughs> Jesus Buffalo Christ. Bills legend. USC legend. Just just to imagine the nephews I'd have. A man. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> you should get knocked up and by you know they'd be, <laughs> you know they'd be legacies at USC. <laughs> <laughs> they get in no prob. I wouldn't have to bribe them like Aunt Becky. I love that shit. That oh, my God. A Friedland and a Simpson. Now mm-hmm. I'm having fantasies. Although I guess... Would OJ- you change your name to Adam Simpson if your sister got knocked up by O.J. Simpson? I'd I'd change my name to Adam O.J. Simpson <laughs> Friedland. <laughs> and just replace the middle name. That'd be, you could just do that now. I guess I could. Yeah, no because there's really nothing holding me back. <laughs> nothing to stop you. Yeah, you better fucking do that shit. I wonder if my dad still thinks OJ's innocent, because <laughs> he he really used to think OJ. Was Your dad innocent. thinks OJ's innocent, but that he is during the trial, but he, that he is guilty of taking the memorabilia. No, he got really mad about that too. Oh, really? He's like, they set him up, <laughs> which they did. He was right. <laughs> no, my dad was watching the OJ trial and he was like. Oh, the LAPD wants to set up a successful black man in America. <laughs> <laughs> a fellow African. Yeah, yeah. How's your dad on Jussie Smollett? 
Does he think I don't think he him? cared about Jesse Smollett. I think he's just too sad about uh, the no collusion thing right now. Oh, your dad really... It's probably wrapped up in a blanket. He was ready for the Russians, room. huh? Yeah, I mean, you watch Rachel Maddow for two years, you turn into a real fucking <laughs> psychopath. <laughs> I was trying to tell him. Yeah, thank God my parents don't are too foreign to understand the news. Yeah, my, mom's, my mom's watching like 13 Reasons Why or, or whatever the fuck's on Netflix. I think I think Rachel Maddow's doubled down. I think she's like still collusion with Russia. Respect. Finesse, dude. If Respect. she's getting all those baby boomers to watch, like just double down. Why not? Don't lose those ratings. Should we start a news, ne- a news network? Yeah, but we got to come up with something even more salacious than Russia. What do you got? I don't know. Hmm. You got no- nothing? I mean, you give me a fucking day. I'll come back. Mm-hmm. I'll come up with it. Donald Trump. Uh, Milan Omer, definitely a terrorist. We start there. Donald Trump's Muslim. There we go. There, that's good. That's there. There we go. Donald Trump's a Muslim. He was jealous of how tall the Twin Towers were because he's a <laughs> notorious New York City real estate developer. Interesting. So okay. he paid his Muslim brother, his friends in Al Qaeda, which he was a member of, to knock them down because. They were too huge. They, he was going to put up the Trump Towers. Mm-hmm. And he had penis envy of them because he also has a small... He's That's a, good. His like little most hands. Muslims, he has a Muslim-sized <laughs> penis. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to get his little hands in the mix. Oh, it's small mm-hmm. hands, too. Yeah, He couldn't fly the... the plane. He would have <laughs> done it himself. He would have done it, but his hands were too, too small. small to, to mm-hmm. control the steering wheel. For yeah, beat that mad out, you fucking stupid bitch. That's good. You we look get, like her, too. I know we're, we we look sim- we have similar haircuts. Similar haircuts. She um, could probably grow a better mustache. Probably, but she was actually a college athlete, I believe. So she's probably stronger than me. Yeah, she, you would definitely lose in the fight to Rachel Maddow. Yeah. Um, you still reading about that car, but bu- bu- but bu- no, no, I was looking up more uh, Mueller <laughs> report stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what were you up to today? Doing a little Red Dead again, brother? No. No, that was just on for a second while I was waiting for uh, some food to finish cooking. What did we, what did we chef up? Just oatmeal. <laughs> Nothing in particular. <laughs> That's good, man. Wait, uh, weren't some yep. people like trying to like make recipes from Red Dead? Uh, I don't there's know. Like, uh, the, I, I think some, there's some shit online where people are like make, cooking the recipes. And then posting the pics. And then just waiting for for women to have sex with them. Just yep. waiting for the DMs to pour in. Yeah, how would that work? You know, some hot bitch would see you posting your Red Dead, you know, meals. And get so turned on that she'd DM and be like, I'd love to, I'd love to, I'd love to fuck you. You know, that's all I got on that. If you I think that would on. be hot. Yeah, I would fuck a bitch who DM me off of PlayStation. You know PlayStation, PlayStation Messenger. Mm-hmm. That's where the good pussy is, dude. Yeah, you get on that shit. Mm-hmm. Can you send pictures on PlayStation Messenger? I don't know. Have you ever tried? I I I, I guess I've somebody sent me a picture of a T-shirt on it, but uh, I I have no idea how you do it. Uh. Start I've been watching the. Cox. <coughs> I've been watching the new season of Queer Eye. I don't know if you guys. Know. I have not. And I, there's a blurred episode. I just skipped all the episodes just to go to the Black Nerd episode. Uh-huh. And uh, really, really, what a sweet person. And, uh, you know, I don't think uh, any of the changes that they instituted in his life are going to stick. I mean, I think <laughs> he's just going to... They, like, made him stop playing WoW, and he's like, yeah, I'm going to go out... <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Wow will ruin your damn life. And he's like, yeah, pretty much I was very outgoing. And then my mother died when I was a child. And oh, no. Now I like playing, uh, you know, role. Uh, uh, what are they called? MMR. MMORGs. Yeah, yeah. On Massive mass. multiplayer online. Yeah. Really gay shit. Yeah. And then <laughs> they took him to the. Because I guess it's taking place in Kansas City. They took him to that Kansas City Japan Club, which is like all the people that like anime <laughs> and video games. There's a Kansas City Japan Club? I guess so. And then they oh, set him oh, up yeah. like all hanging out. And then they took the blurred to go to go hang out with them. And then uh, 
he got anxiety like five minutes and they had a pep talk and they're like just ask them like what video games they like to play <laughs> <laughs> and it's just so clear like yeah the second they're gone he's just gonna he like hot? log back into wow no he's like five five and uh what's wrong with that y- yeah I didn't he, was, ask, he, was, he was i didn't ask an un a question no. that had nothing to do it with was cute though they did ask him what his ideal look was and he goes um D- donald donald glover <laughs> <laughs> i like to look like was he gay or was he straight um no i think he was straight but yeah, his only friend was his sister. Ooh, was she who, hot? Who was kind of cute, actually. Yeah, I they lived too. together. She's like, whatever. Well, you can bet on <laughs> whether that it actually happened on that show or not. <laughs> you can watch bet it. Yeah. DSI. You can bet your sweet tits that you can do that. At BetDSI.com, uh, they've been in business over 20 years. Doing what? You might ask. Paying winners. Oh, I love that shit. And telling losers to fuck off fuck off you fucking losers they got an easy to use cock. mobile playing interface you can play win and get paid you know I anywhere on the go at home use it on the f- on your phone while you're in the bathroom mm-hmm. you know you can conduct you can gamble on your phone use your phone to wipe your ass if you scrape have, the shit off if you have an iphone gamble. 10 you can sit in the bathtub mm-hmm. and take a bubble bath it's while waterproof gambling. That's you know, that's how they used to do it, back in the oh, yeah. back in the old days. At the sports <laughs> book. you have a big clawfoot tub and you take a big bubble bath and gamble and on. Think about the, uh-huh. the, on the Mandingo fights. Yeah. <laughs> Wheel your clawfoot tub into the <laughs> drafting room and gamble. <laughs> on the plantation, the Bet DSI plantation, mm. and that's that's why that's they, where they were founded. That's why they invented mobile playing interfaces. <laughs> So the, so the genteel yeah. the gentlemen. So the dandies wouldn't have to go to the <laughs> go down to the you know, mm-hmm. that fucking room from the end of the sting mm-hmm. where people bet or whatever. They yes. offer odds on pretty much everything, you know, not just sports but also movies. You can bet on you can sit at home, you rent the movie the sting. You have to sign a form that says you've never seen it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then you get to bet on what happens. You just have to sign it. There's a form you have to sign on the website that says, "I promise I've, I've promise never, I've seen, never seen, seen the sting. Mm-hmm. I've never seen Jurassic Park." Da, 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 da. I've and never then, heard that song. Da, 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 da. And then you've got to bet on what <laughs> happens in the movie. <laughs> uh, they'll know if you're lying. The, though. They'll know if you're lying because they, they actually, the website installs a program on your computer that you, what, uses your camera and your microphone when you're not looking. Yeah, it's Russian for malware. your own for your own safety. For your own safety yeah. and to you're corroborating your, yeah, your to, evidence. It, to create an alibi for you. In case some other gambling. stuff happens. Um, they offer live in-game wagering. <laughs> so if you're watching the movie and you're like, oh, never mind. I've changed my mind. I don't think, yeah, I don't think Ripley's going to beat the alien, actually. Yeah, I changed my mind. I don't think that Joe Montaigne actually has feelings <laughs> for this woman <laughs> in, the, in the David Mamet classic House of Games. <laughs> I think I think maybe he's <laughs> lying to this woman because she's a mark, see? Mm. A mark. It's all a con. You understand? Yep. That's right, a con. I said it, a con. <laughs> don't you understand? That's what it is. A con, after all. Mm-hmm. Page 282. That's right. I said a con. <laughs> and you can bet on that. Don't you understand? Look at me. I'm expressing emotion right now. I'm furious. I've never been more furious in my life. <laughs> or am I? It's a con, you see. <laughs> they offer live in-game wagering. You make plays throughout the entire game. And here's what we're going to be betting on <laughs> this week. We uh, got... Um, the final four. I don't. I guess Michigan out. State baseball. You play. Fuck baseball. You're, uh, ev- ev- you're gonna. You pick a team and you do it like high card, low card, thousand dollars per game. <laughs> and you you predict the entire season right now, high card, low card. Actually, that would be pretty fun. That well, fun. you could do like plus minus wins. You think the Orioles are gonna get to seventy wins? No. No, so you go like, take the under on that. Mm. Are they, it's, but it's more fun under? to do it like high card, low card. Yeah, you it's pair more off fun. with somebody. Yeah, and then the money changes hands every single day. Mm-hmm. Um, so when you sign up, or is there other shit you're betting on? Um, I'm gonna watch. I'll probably see Captain Marvel. 
I'll bet on that movie. Mm-hmm. I saw it. Don't tell me anything about it. No I don't want to spoil anything, but the most powerful thing in the universe is a white woman. <laughs> is that what they say in the movie? Is that a line from the movie? No, it's yeah. kind of the implication, though, at the end. David okay, Ma- David okay what did you just say? That you're not going to spoil anything. I'm just, uh, the implication <laughs> at the end, huh, motherfucker? <laughs> David well, Mamet's Captain Marvel. Yeah. <laughs> She's a bitch, you see? <laughs> she bitched everybody. <laughs> That's what cunts do. You ever meet a cunt? <laughs> well, I'm looking at one right now. Yeah. A regular St. Louis Sally. <laughs> a cunt. <laughs> Listen, are you gonna are you gonna take a shit or are you gonna waste my time, pal? I don't have time for cunts. Listen, <laughs> you're a cunt, see? <laughs> Don't give me those fucking no no Hindus. Yeah. Nothing no Rajeshes. It's I mean I That's like my David. Favorite part I of like that. David Mamet, but I, I really don't know why I do. It's so cra- like when you watch Glenn Gary Glenn Ross and it's just like so racist towards Indians, it's hilarious. Mm-hmm. I don't remember that part. They're mad anytime they get Indian leads. Like if they have like a Oh, Indian. if they have to call an Indian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well that makes sense, dude. They're too busy at uh, running subway franchises around well, the 50 th- states. Yeah. Well, when you sign up, you make sure to use promo code COME120 so they know we sent you, and that's at bettheaside.com. And when you sign up, you've got some options. You can just play and cash out, or you can take the bonus money, which is like getting a casino comp up front before you've played at the tables. It has a rollover requirement, but it's free cash. So if you're going to be in the sports book, which is where we like we to gamble. We love gambling there. If you use promo code COME120, that's C-U-M-120, up to $1,000, they're going to give you 60% bonus cash, which would turn $1,000 into 1600 to play with. So once again, that's BetDSI.com, COME120. Let's start the show. Let's start the show. This is how we have sex. This is how we have sex. We pull out our wieners. My dick is small. It's Friday night, and my dick the is The party's small. here on the west side. And I've never had sex with women. I've only fucked men. Yep. Suck my little penis. So that's Suck my little penis. <laughs> so that was a... Uh, what was that, Black Street? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, Montel Jordan. If you could suck my dick, would you... Montel Jordan's a pretty cool name. Yeah, better than Montel Williams. Pathetic name. Mm. Why? Uh, I don't know. They're very similar names. Montel Both, uh, Jordan. He's the one. The talk show. No. Montel, That's Williams Montel Williams was the talk show, and now current marijuana advocate. Well, my man has some kind of disease. Glaucoma. No, I think something with his joints that fucked. They get fucked up. I think he's going blind from glaucoma. Damn. Maybe I'm wrong. We should let Montel back on TV. Give him a show, dude. I want to see him yell at teenage parents. You know, keep it really real with them. If I had a show, I would get prima nocta on the teenage parents. And be able to fuck them? Get first dibs on that pussy. Yeah. <laughs> this, is a t- this is a good policy. <laughs> What so would be a scenario in which I would uh, uh, that I would some girl claim come on some girl will come on she's like I'm 15 years old and I had sex and my I don't care what my mom says and the mom's crying and stuff mm-hmm. and then stops like that's terrible but I have to go backstage That's disgusting and, so it's like the boot camp episodes yeah, yeah but yeah. You have so to you have come sex out in like a Marine Corps outfit <laughs> yeah. stop way overweight <laughs> and you scream at them and then they have to leave and have sex with you yeah. <laughs> And then they come back. Something like that. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm. They're wearing I, I would wait until the age of the consent top. in each state for legal purposes this is on television after all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I would show my full unblurred cock. And the way you get around that is you blur everything but the cock. Mm-hmm. So on the screen, <laughs> it would just be nothing but blur, but my cock would be there. But you wouldn't see that mm-hmm. it was doing anything sexual. How about a uh, computer program that automatically blurs the vaginas in Asian porn, and then they use it, and then it blurs all of their eyes by accident? Because it thinks that they're pussy. <laughs> yeah. That's clever. Mm. That would be, yep. That's one of the problems with AI that people don't think about. Yeah. 
It was too perfectly and that designed. could be a sketch as part of a larger sketch that's a Japanese version of Mad TV. Mm-hmm. Yes. It, isn't most of... Japan's takes on sketch comedy. Isn't Japan... Japanese TV essentially... What if everything was Mad TV? What if like Mad TV game shows, started? For sure, yeah. What if Mad TV was like the start, and then we got crazier from there? It seems I, like they have a very Mad TV ethos. Yeah, I think I think that's what comedy is in most places in the world. No, no, comedy in most places in the world is a guy dressing as a woman. Yeah, that's which still, is Mad T- Mad TV was all about that. No, it was much more. It was much more nuanced than that. Yeah, Mad TV was more like something, something, but gay. Yeah. <laughs> Which, Which is brother, effectively what we Brother, sign me up. On this program. Sign me up and fuck me. Let me get my dick sucked. After I sign a contract. So, Selling you my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we're we all hyped up on that Mayor uh, Pete. Butt Edge Edge. Butt Edge. Uh, I'm trying to edge, edge, edge on his butt cheeks. I'll tell you yeah, that Yeah, we're on the Pete train. Um, I'm trying to fuck his husband, dude. He's trying to be president? He's trying to be the president right now. That's pretty stupid. Yeah. He pretty... seems like a guy that's like in an acapella group. <laughs> yeah. That's definitely w- what his vibe is. Like, you know, the acapella groups that go to elementary schools. And they're like all excited to be there because they think that elementary school age kids don't know what gay is. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one place he can be free, yeah. free of society. Like these these kids don't understand that we're complete fucking losers. <laughs> <laughs> Little does he know, dude. They get it the most. Yeah. There'll be like six kids that really get it and are ruthless. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn. One time they had a bitch do tango, or like do like, not tango, but like that Spanish shit where you clap, you have little clappers in your hands. The clickers, Salsa? the clickers, yeah. ca- castellanets. Yes. And I remember being horny in like third grade, dude. You liked it. I wanted her to fuck me. She was stomping too? Yeah. She was doing stomping mm-hmm. and the... Yes, sir. Hornier than... What one a, time they brought in a belly an dancer. And I wasn't as horny. For Some your about, school? Yeah. Some about for boy for children. Yeah, <laughs> there's no educational <laughs> purpose. And it's just like let's look. At, yeah, I don't remember what happened. She came to her. Class. Look at this Turkish lady. I think girl. it was like under the guise of cultural something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she, and I wasn't as horny, and I was up close with her, and I guess I could see belly too, if I recall. Mm-hmm. I think maybe she was a little more modest than usual. But dude, the fucking Castel, the Dan Castellaneta or whatever the fuck that bitch is called. <laughs> yeah. Who I wanted to clack them little shits all over my nuts, dude. Yeah, maybe one that, time we had a Holocaust a... survivor come, <laughs> and I got real <laughs> torqued up. <laughs> I think I told this story before. She was talking about how, like, she her family gave her these diamonds. She put them in her pussy, and she ha- had to eat them on the train to Auschwitz. And oh. then, like, when she got to Auschwitz, oh, she had to right. like search through her poop for it. She had to sh- no. continue. And eat she her was like, "And diamonds. that's how terrible the Holocaust was." And all of us were like, "That's disgusting." Yeah, this lady was eating poop diamonds yeah. for four years. That's wild. Yeah, put them in your. And pussy. then we got in trouble for laughing when she was talking about searching through her poop. <laughs> 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 that bitch needs to understand mm-hmm. her audience. I don't know. Imagine you're like a guard and you're just like you were a guy that was just in like the German army. And I know that's not really how the Holocaust works, but you were in the German army like prior to the war. You're right. not a member of the Nazi party. You're having to load these Jews on the trains and mm-hmm. you're like, I'm committing an atrocity. Mm-hmm. Like I can't I don't know how to fucking live with myself. I don't, I'm powerless to like stop it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, you're just sort of in this funk and it's like these are human beings. And then there's like Jewish people eating diamonds out of shit. <laughs> you're like, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess. Yeah, I guess all the vi- the videos we had to watch were correct. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that was kind of our reaction as you know fourth graders. Mm-hmm. Did they make at it a, the whole way? At a Jewish day school that closed the next year. That was the last year I went to private school. Oh, really? Yeah, after I went to that, public school in fifth grade. After that general pop for you? Yeah. Yeah, my parents, yeah. Then they were like, I was never a fucking private school bitch like you, dude. 
I was always in the streets. They tried to make it work in Vegas with the Jewish school, and they kept closing down. I think now there is one, though. Whatever. It's not interesting. <laughs> this is really boring. No, it is But why would they choose to tell that story, though? I mean, I think they were trying to say this is how bad the Holocaust was. But the Holocaust was bad. I mean, there were death camps well, where they like, would gas people. Yeah, yeah. With their the, whole like, I don't, I don't understand there being anybody that's that, like, well, uh, what, but what else happened? Yeah. Our teacher was, like, they tried to take our diamonds away. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what? Now it's... <laughs> I mean, people shouldn't have <laughs> diamonds. No, I, I mean, there's no, listen, there's no, it's not, it's nothing other than just like a symbol of like family, hoarding wealth. What our teacher said, no, dude. she said it was from her like great grandparents or something. But what our teacher said to us was that all the survivors were about to die. So it was like we were lucky. That's what, when we were getting yelled at. That's what they were saying. My heirlooms okay, but intergenerational wealth isn't. Because one's like a fun little trinket, the other one's like. You know, five yachts and you know what I'm saying? It's too much. It's a, it's a scale thing. You can't be like, hey, yeah. what the hell? I mean, if someone's like this, this slave was a family heirloom. No, that happened. Down. What? That yeah, they would yeah. I mean, yes, there were people that within the context of like slavery, there were people that just thought it was like that's the way things are supposed to work. Yeah, it's your property. Yeah. So like they uh, they obviously had like sentimental value for a slave the same way that somebody would have <laughs> sentimental value for a fucking that's, car. That's, yeah. That's that's, that's that's ridiculous. I Just mean, but it's no, you're right. It is in, in retrospect, but... isn't that crazy? Yeah. Oh, this is my favorite boy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you're right. That's, but I mean, like <laughs> today, if someone was like, yeah, there's a couple of like response novels to Uncle Tom's Cabin by Southern writers. Diss tracks. Uh, basically, yeah. There's, there's one called The Sword and the Distiff, and then there's another one that's called uh, The Sword and the Dick Stiff. The the Northern or the 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 planter's northern bride or the planter's northern wife and uh yeah both of them are just like about uh, like how slavery is good yeah. <laughs> and like there's like the slaves in the and obviously it's just racist bullshit sure, but sure. like yeah the the like they they you know trying to like express like no we love these slaves yeah right yeah these are our pets. Well, then, mm. didn't someone try to do that like two years ago? Some Filipino. Everyone's. What, oh, yeah, what was yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Some some guy was like, "Yeah, my family is a slave, and it's okay." Yeah. Some Asian guy tried to yeah, say that. That'd be crazy. That I mean, because like you know, Spike Lee already made that movie, uh, the CSA or whatever. But if to update that even for now, like ten, fifteen years after it came out, if like slavery still existed, like. People posting pictures of their slave to R slash awe. Oh, you know? no. <laughs> <laughs> like a slave. A slave. What was that? Katie Cat slave. subreddit you showed me? What's huh? that? Oh, cat loafs or something? Yeah. Yeah, slave loafs. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Sorry, mm -hmm. I sh really should not have cut off that. Uh, that no. Oh, no. No, it's all right. No, you shouldn't have, Adam. Like, look at this cute outfit I dress my slave in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this one's dressed like an army man. Yeah, I guess that is what would be happening. Mm -hmm. Damn, good thing we don't have slavery, except, I guess, if you're building the World Cup stadium in Abu Dhabi or whatever. It's also, if it had continued on, because, I guess, when was it made? When was it made, like... 64? Well, that was the Civil War. And the Emancipation Proclamation uh, was, freed the slaves, but, was, like... Was the slave the trade war. was illegal long before that. Owning slaves wasn't, but they oh, they they stopped the trade first. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if it just continued, eventually they would probably because there would be no utility for like you know we the, you wouldn't have mm -hmm. most people would have like white collar jobs. So right, if they never gave like humanity can to black my, people, can you go get my seamless? And they continued to be like not even considered human they would eventually have like bred some crazy looking black people I mean. <laughs> you know like that the, the chihuahua like version ornamental? yeah if you yeah. look at if you look <laughs> if at you dogs eugenics run if you let look at dogs prior to like 1910 they were all they all kind of looked pretty normal there weren't any like yeah chihuahuas or bulldog like imagine like the bulldog version of black people i guess is what 
is what uh, where that path would have led. Right, down. Lavelle Crawford. Yeah, I think CeeLo Green is probably the closest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the closest yeah. look we have at <laughs> right. that alternate universe where black people become luxury items for old women. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> like you can have like a a toy black guy. Yeah, mm-hmm. like a black guy that only grows to maybe be about two foot three. Mm-hmm. Damn. Like a Gary Coleman. Mm-hmm. And he's got like a huge underbite and he struggles to breathe and he only lives 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> his hips can't handle his proportions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You'd have to jack him off. To his head's always someone. just poking out of some rich lady's purse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what would have happened. That's it's what would have happened. Yeah. Yeah. We're not saying it's good. This is an alternative history. This is alter- This is yeah. This is sort of like hardcore history with Dan Carlin. Mm. It's like uh, is that what man, happens on that podcast? Yeah, yeah, he talks about slavery. Like what we should. <laughs> yeah, if, if, I've never heard an episode, but if I, I think that's what it is. If I'm correct, it's him talking about breeding black people. Mm-hmm. Mm. Dan Carlin. Well, anyways, if you like sex, you'll like BlueChew.com. dot <laughs> com. BlueChew offers men a performance. Boost. Oh yeah. Um, oh, it, a boost, all right. It's a boost, yeah, out, out of your penis. Mm-hmm. You ever you rem- you remember Nas from Too Fast, Too Furious? Yeah, it's basically a button on on the underside of the steering wheel for your dick. Yeah, mm-hmm. which on is your, your balls. Taint. There's yeah. a third. What you take a blue chew, you grow a third nut, and anytime you want to get hard, you press it. Mm-hmm. Blue chew makes the first chewable dick pill. <laughs> like a like a Flintstones kids with the same yeah with the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis and they unfortunately don't come in the shape of Fred Flintstone but if they did I would enjoy them even more <laughs> <laughs> they work you know, yeah. bam I'm bam trying, yeah, shape I'm trying to get my dick hard by Betty dude yabba dabba do it chew <laughs> blew it and yab blue chew sponsored officially by the Flintstones. <laughs> Copyright. By the Hanna Barbera Corporation. Copyright <laughs> overlapping <laughs> infringement to, together. <laughs> they are the same company. <laughs> Flintstones officially sponsors both the Come Town podcast, <laughs> and we I own the copyright to the Flintstones. Yep. And if you say I don't, reboot time. If you, you say I don't, I'll sue you. New episodes of the Flintstones coming soon. Co- because we own them, and I invented the Flintstones. <laughs> And as the inventor and creator of the Flintstones, I say that they now sponsor Blue Chew. Uh, they work faster than pills, up to twice as fast. You can take Blue Chew on a full or empty stomach, and they're cheaper than Viagra and Cialis. I love that, because I want to get my cock hard, but at a bargain. Yeah, I'm trying to save money on all kinds of things for my health. You know, if I, if there's a way to save a couple of bucks... On heart medicine, if yep. I can take dog I take, yeah, exactly. dog heart medicine, I'll do it. I take whatever they prescribe St. Bernard's. It takes only a few minutes to fill out a form online. No doctor visit, no awkward conversation, no waiting in line at a pharmacy. And I can tell you, as someone who used to do all kinds of illegal shit to get dick pills, mm-hmm. one time I lied to my doctor and said I heard they were doing it as a clinical trial for prostate issues, and I made up that I had prostate issues. And he wasn't. He didn't believe me, but I complained so long. He gave me a couple samples of Cialis. Mm. This was maybe five years ago. Another time, I had to buy research At chemicals. Twenty-three years old. <laughs> yeah. Th- yes. Uh, there was another time when I had to buy research chemicals off of the internet, and the guy, the way I had to pay for them was the guy I had to Venmo him, and he was like, "Say it's for pizza." <laughs> and, and so in case the feds were were watching that he was illegally selling research chemicals that got your dick hard. That's cool. So now I'm happy. Hey, what's this what's this mysterious payment on the internet to some company? Oh, it's for pizza. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely not gonna raise any eyebrows. <laughs> that's definitely not gonna get you more in more trouble than just saying it's for dick pills. Well, that's what I had to do, and I'm so happy that I don't anymore. Anyways. That my dick is getting hard legally and from a doctor through Blue Chew. A Blue doctor Chew, no less. Chewables are prescribed wow. online by a doctor, and they ship to your door in discreet packaging, like mm-hmm. James Bond would do. That's right. And they give you confidence in bed every time, so you and your partner will love it. Mm-hmm. So here's a great deal for you guys. Visit BlueChew.com and get your first order free when you use promo code 
come town that's c-u-m-t-o-w-n just pay five dollars shipping that's b-l-u-e-c-h-e-w dot com promo code c-u-m-t-o-w-n as in and let's start the show. Let's start the show. Let's start the show. <laughs> My dick's hard because of blue chew. My dick is hard as shit. I've never fucked pussy. <clears throat> what are we talking about? Uh, breeding slaves? You've never taken a dick fill, Adam? I did, yeah, once. Only one time, though. Who did you fuck? And it worked. So somebody. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Just somebody. <laughs> a this? woman. A woman who, who was, was maybe on the clock. No. <laughs> not I didn't that. say for what. I didn't say for what. It was a woman who was uh, working at a McDonald's. Yeah, and you fucked her. And she let me back into the refrigerator room. <laughs> <clears throat> and you filled her and you filled her pussy full of uh, frozen patties. No, no, no. It was nothing like that. It was not. It, and she was like, "Go deeper." And, and I co- said, "I'm said I'm as hard as I'll ever be." And she was like, "Wrap your cock around some fucking, McGr- wrap some McGriddles around your cock, to f- to fill it out." Mm-hmm. And so you did just that. Yep. You stuffed a couple sandwiches at the end of the condom. McGriddles are pretty good. They are. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I I take that back. I think what? Yeah, I don't like them. Fucking loser! They're my good. face feels sticky the rest of the day. That's because you suck the man's penis. I want to get one of those tiny cast irons for making. I have one. You like want the one? real small ones. They're yeah, just like for, one egg. Yeah, for making like the size egg for a breakfast sandwich. Bro, honestly, I was thinking about getting rid of mine. I'll bring it over see if it's what the, you the like. The really tiny ones. They're ti- it's tiny as shit. I'm talking about like the size of a post-it note. Oh, no, not that small. But yeah. it's small. I'll send you a picture. No, I know. It's probably the six-inch one, but I want the, I want the, the they make them. They're I think the, it's the, four inches. Well, post-it note's probably, what, three inches? Yeah. So, that, yeah, if it's four. I'll show it to you. I think it might it might do what you I do might just trick. bike over to Target after this. And, All right. And buy a, a tiny cast iron. and Make perfect breakfast sandwiches? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? You trying to just, kill yourself? No, not even. <laughs> it's too late for that. You seem down, brother. No, I'm I'm actually in a pretty good mood. Just a hmm. uh, slower pace for me. We're hot off our big show in Washington, D.C. Mm. at the Black Cat, which was great. And hopefully we'll be bringing that to your town soon. I did email uh, a woman who books like little theaters around the country, so we might we might legitimately be in business. Mm-hmm. And uh, we'll figure out details of a Euro tour as well. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it's going to be like that movie Euro Trip. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to be Fred Armisen, and I'm going to rape you guys in a train. Urine trip? No. Oh. <laughs> urine trip. How about the urine peeing urine peeing union? The urine urine peeing 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 union. Peeing yeah. union. Yeah. I like that. I wouldn't want to. I would want a Brexit too. If yeah, if there's a bunch if of they're made out of piss. German bunch of bl- homos <laughs> trying to tell me I got to buy everything with their piss. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. Bunch of Bavarians pulling out their fucking weird cocks out yeah. of lederhosen. Making you sip some, on it. Some pepper snorting kraut wants me to buy his piss <laughs> for free? <laughs> no tax? I don't think so. That's that makes sense, dude. So would the instead of Euros, the Euro urine peeing union would sell little their currency is little jars of piss? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I guess. I want one of those ear necklaces. What do What's you mean? What's that? Like from the Vietnam War. Oh, oh, oh a necklace with your Oh, with, with someone's w- ear with on your, it? With the people you've murdered's ears. Yeah. Okay. Was that... They did that in Vietnam? Mm-hmm. It sounds like an Old West kind of thing. You know what I would do if I was a poacher? I'd have a harder. headdress with an elephant's actual ears on the side. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. I'd have an elephant's ears taped in my head. I and then a it. lion's mane and an elephant's ears. You'd make some freak animals. And his... Yeah. A zebra's dick. Mm-hmm. Which I hope looks yeah, I like the rest. Does. Of it. I, don't think it does. I hope. I think it's fleshy, like uh, a horse. Well, I would say it's like gray and black. We're gonna have to enslave the zebras and uh-huh. spend a couple of years <laughs> making them fancy. You ever seen a giraffe's tongue? No, it's black. Is it? Yeah. 
Um, ze- a zebra's cock looks pretty black to me, unfortunately. Does it? Looks looks long. Looks good. Whoa. This is a big cock. I think, well, horses tend to have big cocks. Yeah, but then, ooh, damn, zebra pussy looks kind of good, though. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, horses got good-looking pussies. Dude, look at these two zebras about getting ready to make that bubble gum. Damn, that that's a... The juicy gut bubble gum. That's see. some dick, dude. You're juicy right, fruit. stuff. I told you, bro. You guys didn't say anything about that video of the chimpanzee with this tiny cock that I sent I'm you sorry. the other day. I didn't see it. I didn't get it. It was uh, it was pretty funny. It was just a chimpanzee. Zebra stripes are cool, man. I want to kill one small of them ass and turn cock. it into a rug. <laughs> I've seen... Yeah, zebra zebra skin rugs are uh, are pretty nice. My, my, my buddy Max has one. Is it real? I think it might be. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> I think that zebra died ethically, though. No way. I would have. Yes, of course. It's ethical zebra rugs. You, would you be a poacher for a zebra's, Nick? Uh, yeah, I would love to be a poacher. No, <laughs> po- poaching makes me really sad. Shut up, Adam. They always have those documentaries about those like kind park rangers in the Shut Congo. Up. And they're going to get caught. Like, I'm the only one that's protecting these beautiful creatures. And they're, and they're going to fucking end up fucking And then it. some fucking... It Former takes... Rhodesian special forces guys like you know we get to kill all of the fucking. It takes a a lot of integrity to be a poacher. How so? Well, because people already don't like regular hunters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you have to be willing to accept being hated by every part of the animal kingdom. Mm. They're true outlaws. So you like that's what appeals to you is is hatred is universal hatred. Yes. Interesting. And the the elephant ear hat. <laughs> yeah, and the zebra cock. Mm. What would the zebra cock be again? A belt? Yeah, I guess something. Well, now that I saw it and it doesn't look like the rest of the zebra, I've lost interest in that. What animal has the most colorful cock, would you think? Um, I don't know. Probably a turtle. Probably some kind of weird Yeah, turtle. have you seen a turtle's cock? It's weird, dude. Mm-hmm. Isn't it like... It uh, gets wide at the end. Oh yeah, word. Oh it's no, ducks. Up. Ducks have the ones that are like scorpion from Mortal Kombat, where they like throw yep. them out there and then they mm-hmm. grab bitches. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like a little rape hook. Yeah, like a corkscrew. Like, Get over here! Mm-hmm. I would like to be an octopus. They are the smartest animals, people say. But they're smart in a different way than people are. In what way? Well. Do they have language? They, they're the way they think about things is completely different. You know, they're not mammals, right? They got brains all over the place too. Yeah, it's not a central nervous system. That shit's everywhere. Bro. Uh, it's yeah, it's fucked up. They're like aliens. Yeah, like their arms have independent neurons. So, like, if you cut an octopus's arm, it off, grows back, right? Well, it operates no, it autonomously. The fuck, dude! It's not a fucking. Oh, a starfish it's, does yeah. that? No. My dick does. I thought an octopus's arm grows back. It doesn't grow back, dude. That'd be fucking wild. That if it does, I'll be mad because that that means there's a fucking. If I got a pet octopus, I could cut its fucking arm off every day and have fresh octopus. Mm-hmm. That would be fucking awesome. There you actually. go, ethical octopus, dude. I love gr- some grilled octopus. I know. Grilled pulpo, dude. Love that shit. If I could be an animal. Hmm. I want to say a bird so I can soar in the skies, but that's probably not true. A bull, a strong oxen, as long as I get some cow pussy, mm-hmm. and I can fucking break like uh, rodeo guys' necks when they try and best me, and I'll never let them. I'll never be broken, dude. I'm a wild fucking animal, but I am getting cow pussy on the farm. Can you kill a bull and eat it like steak? Yeah, it's the same meat. Really? They're the same animal, so yeah. <laughs> Damn. We, when we eat chicken, though, isn't that just women? Um. Yeah, Don't I think Don't they kill so. baby roosters? Yeah, I think, well, the hens are fatter. Or look they at got the better. that good fat, that fupa. Yeah. Hmm. Adam, what animal would you be? Um, probably just a guy with a bigger cock. 
<laughs> That's what I want to be re- reincarnated Yeah, just like as. a Dominican teenager. <laughs> <laughs> Good at baseball. <laughs> You just have a heater. You just throw a 97. Yeah, just kind of a Daniel Montez style. Your cock is soft, style. seven and six, six and a half soft thick, dude. Yeah, just one of those big, uncut, it, brown, yeah, the beautiful... The Pirates just fucking... The Pirates just brought clean water to your whole village, dude. Yeah, they're trying <laughs> to, to sign, sign me. You. <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> that would be awesome, dude. That's a, that's, that would that'd be fucking tight. I think having sonar would be pretty cool too. Dolphins have that, right? Echolocation. Mm-hmm. Bats. Ah, yeah, bats. You know my opinion on bats. But I just I walk into a room full of women and I start s- screaming a really <laughs> high pitched tone. <laughs> And then I find the one with the, the tightest <laughs> pussy based on circumference. <laughs> I go up to her. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. I, after <laughs> I've finished screeching the echo. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I find the one. <laughs> Hello, madam. <laughs> and then I just extend my elephant ears at them until they're so impressed that they have to have sex with me. I really marvel at Nick's uh, ability to just invent new ways of woman bothering on every episode. Yeah. <laughs> just, Not only are you shouting for at them. For the purpose of you're, sex. You too. found a way to both harass a woman verbally while looking at her pussy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I said sonar. Yeah. I said sonar would be pretty cool. I don't know what you thought I meant by that other than screeching to... Find out the physical dimensions of a room full of women's vaginas. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck yes, dude. Mm-hmm. Respect that, dude. Yep. God yep. Damn. Asians really like respect. I know. That's a big part of their thing is respect. Yeah, and honor. Yeah. Sitting down in uncomfortable ways and uh-huh. respecting each other. Mm-hmm. Man, I really wish I could have that breakfast in Tokyo every day. You could, dude. Nah. Become a Harajuku boy. Move to Harajuku. Yeah, start wearing Start like, wearing pink. I don't know. Start I don't wearing, wearing I don't like want to be Bo like one Peep of those dresses. Those expat people. Yeah. They were nice, but I felt like it was weird. Yeah, no, they were like, pathetic. Well, <laughs> no, they were nice. It just you just get the sense that they like have been in a cave or something. Exactly, yes. It's like you're not you don't have anything in common with any of these people. And they don't want you're you completely there. disconnected from like the world you belong in. Right. It's like it's like when a fucking it, it's like if you grew up locked in a mall overnight. Kind of, yeah. It's a lot of guys that probably still use the term and identify with metrosexual. <laughs> wow, I was the last that time minute. that they've been in America it was in like 2005. Uh huh. Yeah, it's like their whole culture is like made up of like, I don't know, a thousand people. Not even. They probably have like, oh, the ex thirty friends. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was thinking. You're talking about those comics. I was thinking about those dudes at the fucking Any hentai X-Men. stores. Just no, those like, those were visitors, dude. Those were all visitors, yeah. We're talking about the guys that live in Japan and just are like kind of normal. Damn. Cool. But they're probably on visas there, though. They're probably not residents. No, dude, they probably live there. I think it's really hard to get citizenship. They knocked up Japanese women. That's what everyone... That's what they do. Yeah. That's the, what those African guys the GIs. do. GIs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, GIs. and their GIs, all that shit. Oh yeah! Whoa, cool. If if you could be an expat anywhere, though, would you be? You'd be like a Thailand guy, Adam, doing sex crimes. Um, yeah, Thailand. You know, saving saving boys from caves. I li- I live in Amsterdam, baby. Oh, smoking that loud. Smoking ganja, riding my bicycle, getting absolutely an incredible amount of illicit pussy, but it's for free. Er, but it's legal. Mm-hmm. And then also going to museums. I fucking love Amsterdam, dude. I want to. I want to have a little boat, have a fucking bike, have a wife that just fucking makes me like a little cheese pie. A big titted wife wearing clogs. A heavy, heavy titted wife with blonde ass freckles and shit. Damn, dude. I fucked her. 
You fucked my fictional wife? <laughs> yeah. You fucked Ingrid? Yeah, I fucked Ingrid. <laughs> That's low even for you, Adam. Oh, I can go lower. Did you fuck my little son also? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did my I, son fu- I fucked P- Peter. <laughs> my son Peter <laughs> topped you? Yeah. Be- <laughs> yeah. Oh, Peter Va- Van Halkius. That's right, dude. Von Halkius. Is that where Von Dutch started? Yep. Is that a Dutch company? Yes. Mm. Is that what they're all like over there? Everyone everyone wears Von Dutch hats. <laughs> they wear a lot of Von Dutch. <laughs> it's just guys that look like Ashton Kutcher and yeah. bitches that look like Paris Hilton. Dude, 2000, <coughs> 2003 is alive and well. Trucker hats, uh, belts with like holes in the middle of them. Pranking celebrities. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was great. I did used Those to were love, the days, I used dude. to love prank shows. The war in Iraq, we didn't know it was a lie yet. Yep. I still trusted Colin Powell. I, yeah. I said, God damn it, if he isn't an honorable man, I, still I don't know who is. I still thought, well, at least Colin Powell, we could trust him because he's black. Yeah, and he's and named after a, Donald He's Rumsfeld. named after an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? It, what, shouldn't his name be Colin? Yeah, it's colon. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you're right. He is named after an asshole. Yeah, male G spot Powell, dude. Yep. Mm-hmm. No, that's the prostate. Yeah, prostate prostate Powell. Powell. What's the colon? It's your asshole. I think it's a it's a part it's a tube in your ass. It's, it's a the, large intestine. Oh, it's a big tube in your ass. That I goes right. to your ass. I think it's the just colon connects to your ass. I thought if you get colon cancer, it's basically ass cancer. That's right. It's a yeah. tube in your ass. But prostate cancer is also ass cancer. That's the that's the that's the part. The prostate is the back of your dick. It's Here's where your asshole and dick intertwine. Uh huh. It's one of God's most beautiful inventions. Mm-hmm. If you'll recall from Road Trip, where Stifler gets three fingers in his ass, that was a big moment for queer culture in this country. <laughs> yeah. That is why I did talking it. about getting penetrated in this. I did try way. and get I put a pencil and then a candle up my ass to try and to hit that. I, I put an electric toothbrush could. in my ass, made a buzz. <laughs> and then you know what my dad didn't even notice that his toothbrush was missing. It was tasted funny. Is that a <laughs> true story? No, I made it up. You uh. did it Brussels up. <laughs> Bristle, I mean. Yeah, let's up. see. Let's see what this whole gay thing's all about. <coughs> I know. I know people that uh, do ass stuff that aren't gay. Yeah. No, that's my the friend. Thing now. My it's friend cool like now. wants his wife to peg him. It's really, his wife? Yeah, I don't know if they've done it or he not. He wants it. Yeah. That's so funny. He Honey, announced. Please that... fuck my ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're having lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> So, Carol, have you given any thought to that thing I was talking about? Yeah. I I just, it feels weird. I like the idea of telling your friends that you want it before your wife's even given it up. (laughs) Just putting the political pressure on her. I remember (laughs) seeing some video of, like, a security footage from some, like, business or whatever, and they caught, like, one of the employees beating off at work when he thought he was the only one there. Salute. But he pulls his pants all the way down and shoves his finger up his ass while he's beating off. And it's Whoa. like, man, it must suck to be into that. Because then you have to do that every time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude. And you just always have shit on your hand. On, yeah, your index finger. Yeah. Well, you can wash your hands off. Yeah, but it's under your nails. Yeah, yeah, it does, yeah. that smell doesn't come and off. It's like day? fucking tree sap. Yeah, it's true. But yeah. how do gay guys do it? They they seem so clean. I miss climbing trees. <laughs> that was a simple pleasure. Mm. <laughs> I'd get up there, dude. I was pretty good, too. I was I a they, to, they used to have to yell at me. <laughs> I'd get to the top of the tree, and I would refuse to come down. No! No! you throw things at people? No, I wouldn't say anything. I'd sit up there silently and ignore their pleas <laughs> <laughs> to return Very to Very zen-like. <laughs> I would throw my shit this at awful people. earth. I, uh, I, you know, I found it to be very overrated climbing trees. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's, you know, you weren't I could it. have, but I thought it was stupid. Yeah. But I definitely could have. And I want that on the record. I could climb trees. I could climb fences. 
I could do a whole lot of vertical stuff, no problem. We should get we should get back into that kind of stuff, guys. Thirty <laughs> is not too old to get you know scuffed up knees again. Well, you can go rock climbing. Yeah, everyone rock climbs. Yeah, people now. do that shit. I that, can't do it my is good arms exercise. are too short. Your arms are too short. Yeah, my ape index sucks. They call it your ape index. It's the uh, that seems it's like your height versus your wingspan. That, that really seems it's like it should not they, be the name. Yeah, of that. it's <laughs> fucked up. Now that I say it out loud, I never really thought of that. But I was dating a girl that was a rock climber, and that's what she said. Yeah. Did yeah, she, she any, was also a member of the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> did she have any other political no. leanings? No, she was pretty. She, Your she was ape not, index? Yeah. Imagine being like so a black guy like getting wing, into rock climbing. Well, I mean, the, if your wingspan is like two inches t- longer than your height, you, you're a plus two ape index. Mm. But my arms, I think, are shorter than my height. Yeah, mine probably are too. Which probably means I've. Are black guys into rock climbing? No, but they, they would. Are. It, it's like any other sport. They'd probably be the best at it. Yeah, yeah. They'd probably kill it. They'd probably have to change the design of the prison walls after <laughs> that became a popular thing. Yeah, like, they wouldn't have to put that in specific so many index holes. is something that index. Yeah, which I will not name because it's very problematic. Mm. I really hope NBA I didn't players just would be the best that at that. I, I say really Tom- hope that isn't something that yeah. I just made up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that sounds right. <laughs> I think it's right. Yeah. <laughs> they got it. It would look that. really bad if because there's no way the people that thought of that aren't yeah, weren't ape racist. index or ape factor or gorilla index. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh fuck! Is that a picture of the Vitruvian man on that Wikipedia article? That is for ape very index? good. You know what the name of that thing is? Yeah, Leonardo da Vinci's Vitruvian man. Mm-hmm. I wish he had. Eight, I wish they had his dick going in eight different directions too. Yeah, see his dick going at all. His dick. Twelve super. o'clock. Yep. Three o'clock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nine o'clock. His hard ass dick leaning a bunch mm-hmm. of different ways. Get get back on it, Leonardo, you old pervert. He was uh, fucking boys. I think he was fucking men. Oh, that's on. He's a homosexual. He was just a good old. As was Isaac Newton, I believe. Homosexual. Isaac Newton was too. Yeah, because everyone says he died a virgin because he didn't have a wife. But it's like, come on, man. He, he was, was just a, gay a confirmed nerd. bachelor. Yeah, exactly. One of those. That was nice before the whole, you know, people accepting gay. People, you yeah, could just you like be seen bachelor. as like an old. Oh my God! Look at that guy. He's such a batch. He's a fucking pimp. He must be a real pimp. Mm, I wish I was a bachelor. He's been single for thirty years. Imagine all the pussy he's gotten. The snatchler. The snatchler. On tonight's episode of the snatchler, which is like the bachelor, but he puts the rose in their pussy. Oh, I thought he is just a, does a blindfold sniff test. That would be good too. Yeah, it's one episode long. He smells twenty four vaginas. If you smell twenty four in a row, could you even tell the difference? Well, you'd have to have some sort of grading rubric after each one. You'd have to cleanse your uh, yeah. You'd have to your nostrils. Do you'd have smelling to like, salts in between. Yeah, you'd have to have a fresh <laughs> kind of a fresh perspective before each new puss. Kind of like how you eat ginger in between different mm-hmm. types of fish when you're eating sushi. I eat out two girls in quick succession, and I put I use a saltine cracker, like the Pepsi Challenge, to give them each to make sure I wasn't, you know, so I could go in fresh each it's time. It's a clever way to sneak eating saltine crackers <laughs> into <laughs> <laughs> having sex. Yeah. <laughs> Stop, you're a real <laughs> pussy connoisseur. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I'm not just eating crackers. <laughs> yeah, no, it's going to take just, a whole sleeve. <laughs> I'm not trying to incorporate eating into this threesome, which will probably never happen again in my life. <laughs> Happened twice, thank you. Mm. That's pretty cool. Yeah, thanks. Um, Nick, do you ever... It was fu- too much. Do you ever fuck two guys at the same time? <laughs> I mm-hmm. got him. No. Never? What's that called? The devil's gay sex? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Just have a whole recycling symbol mm-hmm. looking. It'd be tight if Kavanaugh was like, 
Uh, that refers to gay sex. Me and two of my friends were having. Yes, that would be the incredible. devil's. The devil's triangle is when three guys have sex with each other. So there's no way <laughs> uh, Garth over here could have been involved in that. That would rule if he was just like I didn't rape. I was gay. Yeah, he's like I only had gay sex until like I had to be, pretend to be Christian to become president or whatever I am. <laughs> The king of being a judge or whatever job this is. Yeah. <laughs> Council of Elders. Yeah, until actually, it, you can ask the FBI. I, I pretty much was gay until last <laughs> week. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that right? So they just bring the FBI in and just show pictures of him holding hands with guys. Yeah. Getting fucking... Mm -hmm. Getting brunch together. Yeah, they mm -hmm. called it Georgetown Prep because they needed that for mm -hmm. all the HIV. That's where they invented prep. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Thank you. I am gay, my is small. I What did you do today, Adam? I was working on my 2018 taxes. Damn, still haven't done your taxes, you lazy bitch. Well, hopefully by the end of this week, they'll be done. Me and Nick are business owners, all right? I know. Well, my LLC, or my uh, S-Corp will be done also this week, too. I'm waiting the, waiting Small the cock operational Federal resources. government to cash that fucking check, so I know how much money I have. They didn't cash yours yet? No, the state did, but not the federal government. My, they, they cashed my shit. Well, I'd probably send them off at different days. Yeah, that's true. Or... That if your dick is small, they wait longer. Hold on. I'm just getting a phone call. Who is that? The government? The IRS, yeah. Oh. Oh, you do wait really a long time if their dick is small? Hmm. But if their dick is big, you you do it immediately? Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, well, I'm looking at my bank statement. I guess they cashed it weeks and weeks ago, <laughs> and that's why I didn't see it. <laughs> my mistake. <laughs> Damn it. Hold on. I'm getting another call. Um... Oh, psych? Oh, the IRS said psych. Mm. And actually, the earlier, the so gayer, has... and that they haven't cashed mine yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, now I'm, I've realized I was looking at your bank account, <laughs> which I have access to. Damn. I had, I, at the bank, they said if your dick's bigger than another guy's, you just get access to his bank account. What? Yeah, Wait a they, second. <laughs> let me call the bank real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Just, they, they checked our files and said I deserved to have access to your bank Hold account. Hold on a second. <laughs> yeah. No, that's what's happening oh, here. Fuck, uh, dude. Oh, fuck, Let me tab over to mine. and Yeah, uh, it looks like whatever we said the thing is. <laughs> <laughs> is now in my favor. <laughs> I just called someone and they told me that the other thing actually was. Yeah, well, I just got a, a Megan alert on my phone that says you're gay. What? My phone's a buzzing. Megan uh, alert? An Amber alert. An Amber. <laughs> I'm getting a uh. Megan's Law thing here that says you're a faggot. Wow, that is fucked up, dude. Mm -hmm. I'm about to call Apple. Well, actually, Apple just called me and they said every iPhone is wrong. Damn. But well, I'm using I guess Android. we'll probably have to go deal with that then. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. We bye, will. guys. Member of the. Uh, oh, we're recording. Never no, mind. no. Go ahead, say it. No, come on. All right. That's fine. We're talking about arugula, everyone. We all like it. Mm -hmm. In other countries, it's called rocket. Did you no. Know that? In the UK, they a call it rocket. Arugula. That's cool. How about that? Yeah. Oogula boogula. It's a cooler name I than arugula. That's for. What? But that kind of lettuce is for oogula boogula, arugula boogula. You guys remember that bitch? Uh... <laughs> it's racist. Oh, okay, I, don't know. <laughs> I thought you were being silly. You guys yeah, what that? are these guys have, having a salad over here? What's in it? Arugula boogula. <laughs> remember that bitch? Uh... <laughs> well, we got a couple of guys having a, <laughs> an arugula boogula salad over here. <laughs> I'm not even sure who that's racist towards. I don't know. It's like a concept. It's like a, there's like a it's an amorphous. There's racist. a guy walking okay. past a construction site and some black guys are eating their salad for hey. lunch. Oh, okay. And there he goes. He goes. Hey, get a load of this. What are these guys eating for lunch? A rugula boogula salad? <laughs> he's just elbowing one of those like Bangladeshi <laughs> police officers. Oh yeah, he's the like, ones that like the tickets. Yes. 
Can you please help me find pants that fit? <laughs> yeah, why are they all in like a they're, fucking they're uniform? Dad's clothes. Yes, it looks like a child. Oh, dude. Yeah. yeah, it's really strange. A little boy playing policeman. And you the hats are the, big too. Yeah, I think that the police tailor is like a big prankster. Yeah. I think that uh, he's like the, he's like I'm gonna make these. Take this, you fucking Indian. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think he <laughs> likes South tailor, Asians. The tailor of Panama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You are, are meter maids cops in New York? They seem like they're not. None of those people seem like real cops to me. I think they're cops, yeah. There's no distinction? They seem soft. It seems like... Do well, they yeah, have guns? It's, it's always like traditionally an old lady cop job. Yeah, or like a frail, like or, fresh off the boat. What I want is, yeah. is meter yeah. maids, and it's a cop that's like, Sir, if you're going to park there, you got to let me beat you off. <laughs> I'm That'd like, well, fair. fine, but I'm in a rush. <laughs> <laughs> that's how the system is set up. If that's how President Andrew Yang wants it, <laughs> so be it. But I'm in a rush, so please yeah. kiss my neck while you do it. Yeah. <laughs> President, <laughs> President Andrew Yang is like, in addition to anime body pillows. <laughs> that's what he sounds okay. like. That Available is. for is everybody. <laughs> Everybody gets an anime body pillow. Yeah. Wait, he we really talks also, like that? Yeah, learn English, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's my, that's my. Yeah, but we will also be introducing beta maids instead of the Paris. No, yeah. Everyone says the Paris are racist. But what if the Paris only job was to beat off your penis? Yeah. <laughs> that way, when you get in trouble, an ugly woman beats you off. And it's punitive because no one believes in the psychological uh -huh. trauma that happens to men when they're taken advantage of by an ugly woman. Yep. <laughs> that way it's laughable. And it also has a built-in way of correcting the issue of sexual assault and how it's not treated fairly oh, based on gender. Thank so you. Yang's Thank idea you, is Yang. to just rape men more. So you use ugly female <laughs> cops to rape white men. Yeah. And this is part of my genius <laughs> it's computer guy strategy to fix the country. Yeah. And then I everyone has you... to be like, ah, you know, I guess he has a point. I guess it's, it's just one weird Chinese guy that's figured out everything. He's developed a system that works for everybody. I love how you're using that classic Yang upstate New York accent. Yeah. Mm hmm Oh, listen, I'll I think, that I think that's where he's from. <laughs> Is he from? I think he's from, like, Rochester. Going up in Rochester. Oh, stuff. so you were joking also, Adam. He doesn't sound like no, that. No, of course he doesn't sound like that. I don't know. His I've never heard him from speak. Taiwan. Yeah. But, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's running for president, I, which I was means born, that he had to have been born. Again. I was born and raised in Syracuse. <laughs> You're right. That is a good point. He has to be over 35. Well, it doesn't have to be raised here. He needs to be born here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He could have been born here and taken fucking back to... Was he Cruz born in Canada, right? He can also be pulling it. Uh, uh, Beto O'Rourke and just chooses to sound like that. That's, That's true. true. No one's going to stop culture. it. Uh, you know, that'd be less cultural mm -hmm. appropriation than Beto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's I want to run, as, I wanna yeah. run as, as Ding Dong Mullen. <laughs> you know? Oh, no. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Just like, uh, yeah. You know, down in Texas, <laughs> we have an expression is, uh, 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 fool me once, I pee in your Coca Cola. <laughs> 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 when they look back on the past, they are going to say, "Do we know who are these? Who are these Japanese scum that passed this <laughs> Donald Trump plan? We don't want to be like those nip scum." <laughs> I don't know what the Chinese version. Does pendejo is that? Does that mean it means like dickhead or something? I don't know. Yeah, you're thinking of fat. You're thinking of like, <laughs> cabron. No, cabron, yeah, cabron, cabron yeah, and maricon are like the two yeah. different yeah. Maricon is maricon. Yeah. yeah, so is cabron. It's like cabron, cabron is is like it's it means regional, right? Yeah, and like I think in Mexico and maybe one other country it means like pimp, cabron, because no, yeah. it means the top fat. Whoa, oh, I'm that, yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm a cabron, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the top. top daddy. The other one is an insult everywhere. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Call me cabron. Stavros Cabron Halkius, dude. Cabron Papi, that's me, dude. Mm -hmm. I'm rebranding. Um, yeah, I wonder what, how Andrew Yang would fix the toilets, the bathrooms. Oh, yeah, we'd all yeah, get totos. Us, what do you think? I don't know. It, when you say think. the toilets, do you mean the trans trans people going to the oh, yeah. toilets? Oh, I, I thought you meant like uh, the Asian style bidets. Oh, that no. would be awesome. No, yeah. I just mean like well, if how that was would, part of his how he would solve the bathroom issue. What would be the Andrew Yang take on abortion? What's the thing that that fixes it for everybody? You harvest the stem cells for some one kind child of policy, policy, probably. What the oh, one yeah, child yeah, policy? Yeah, yeah. No, that's not it either. It's some kind of synthesis between the one child policy and then also stem cells mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. only people who have cancer are allowed to no what you like eugenics well population control there's a there's an intersection between 
Negative population growth, which is necessary. Well, uh, negative is necessary? Negative population growth. Oh, because the world has too many people. Yeah. Okay. Negative population growth, which is necessary. Uh, 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 access, safe access to abortions that also doesn't How about this? piss off religious people and I satisfies what? For, you get a free Xbox or PlayStation for life with free PSN, whatever, but you have to get sterilized. Or Xbox Live. Or you, Xbox Live. Oh, you get and that, and that way we happens. stop it at the end of we stop it at the point of. But what do women want? Because women don't game. They want abortions. It's like there has to be some kind uh, of purse. Yeah, they have to purse. sign a piece of paper <laughs> saying that they go to hell. <laughs> One free purse, <laughs> a really good purse, a Birkin bag. No, you get yeah, big Birkin bags. How about this? You women have shoes. to sign a document that says, "I promise I will go to hell." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, a binding agreement. A binding agreement that says, I promise I will go to hell if, if you I get, get an abortion. abortion. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's happy. <laughs> the church is happy because they're like, all right, fine, you yeah. get it. I promise I will not argue with St. Peter. I will go directly to hell. <laughs> not Pasco. Yeah. That seems to work. That seems fair. Yeah. The man scot free is off. The or? yang, the the, the dang yang did it again. The yang baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Gamers. That that's right, Adam. Because yeah. most people would sign How about up. the Andrew Yang twins, and it's like, hey baby, let me whisper in you. <laughs> oh, that's good. You got a thousand dollars for the Yang baby. Boom boom boom. Wait till see my tiny dick. Wait till I see my dick. Does he have any other signature policies? No, he's just the um, universal basic. Going on man. Rogan, that's kind of a policy. Mm. Yeah, how come he's the guy that got to go on Rogan? I don't yeah, know. Instead, of Jake, instead of Jake Flores, put Bernie. Yeah, they, they should Jake, have let Jake. Why shouldn't? Yeah. Why did Jake? Well, Jake was <laughs> promised. Joe Rogan promised Jake that he, he could do. Tweeted a lot about that. Yeah, yeah about Joe Rogan promised him. To. He sent him a certified letter that said, mm -hmm. "Mr. Jake Flores, I promise you one invitation that you are. This is a invitation to be redeemed at the Joe Rogan." Rogan show <laughs> anytime, whenever you want. Mm -hmm. And then guess what happens? That capitalist pig dog uh, uh, didn't honor his customer coupon <laughs> that had not expired. I want Bernie on Rogan, yeah. dude, or Elizabeth Warren mm -hmm. getting high, doing fucking whippings. How about like a kid? <laughs> has has how about Rogan like ever a, disagreed with a guest? How about a kid? Know. A kid that gives his his I feel mom. Like everyone convinces him. How about a child that gives his mom or a dad like a one free hug and kiss coupon for like Father's Day or something? Mm -hmm. But then the father gets his wallet stolen, and then <laughs> a guy finds it, the coupon. <laughs> yep. And the I court rules going, that. The, the child, child kisses penis. The, yeah, the, well, the child <laughs> still owes the kiss because it's like you can't discriminate. Of course, and it was your fault for it's printing legal those. tender. It's yeah. If I lose a dollar, yeah. whoever picks it up, that's mm. their dollar. And I'm sorry, your, your son is going to have to hug and kiss this man. <laughs> All these if he has the coupon, sticky fingers, pickpockets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's no expiration date that's on right. here. This is a they legally binding that. contract. That's right. Yeah, you need it's a, just you a need child a small print. Kissing, kissing, crying in court, kissing this and hugging this pedophile <laughs> who's redeeming the, <laughs> redeeming the coupon. I like that, dude. Mm -hmm. You better hope there's no massage involved. <laughs> 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 One free massage for mom on Mother's Day. <laughs> a foot rub. <laughs> Did you ever do a coupon book for your mom? I think so. Oh, I my God. Too. A coupon book? Yeah. No, never. That that's what you for mean. For her he, birthday. Yeah. Yeah. The like Oh, oh yeah, of oh, like the thing I'm describing. Yeah. I'm sorry. What are you describing? I thought I just what for some, whatever call? reason I what imagined you taking the going value city coupon. Town. Yeah, yeah. Going take, around taking town. Taking the value city coupon no, book, putting it in wrapping on. paper and giving it to your mom <laughs> as a present. I wasn't that crying. good of a son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on. You will first cutting My out the good ones for himself. Cutting cutting out like the ones you wanted. Beautiful thing. Yeah. <laughs> Why are all these mini golf coupons gone? Uh, good for one hug. I'm sorry, but it says good for one hug and kiss <laughs> right here. Sir, just knocking on your door, pedophile, yeah. mocking on your door. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't me. hug and kiss my son. If I have to get the police involved, I will. <laughs> is this not his handwriting? Uh-huh. Daddy, who is it? Just go inside, Billy. <laughs> Just get back inside. All right, Billy, put on your scuba suit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we need you protected. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the hug and kiss will be on the customer's mm -hmm. terms. 
<laughs> Put on the onesie and zip it all the way up, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> Local pedophile was arrested for counterfeiting and redeeming free hug and kiss certificates with local children. <laughs> the press, they go to his yeah, house. He's and like, <laughs> just some guy. No, that's, I like that even better as a pedophile going to a guy's house or whatever and showing the coupon to the dad, and the dad just like looking at it through his reading glasses and be like. I don't I mean I guess it's yeah this looks like one of his <laughs> <laughs> Honey get out here <laughs> Okay well you're going to learn has, about promising things to people He today, has the certificate so <laughs> I it looks exactly like the one you gave me on my birthday last year you're going to learn how much a man's word means <laughs> <laughs> Well he said he was going to call the police do you want to yeah. go to jail <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> or do you want to come out here spend 12 minutes with this man in his shed? Do you want to come out here and hug and kiss this man for the coupon? <laughs> Take the coupon back. And that's how my dad taught Honey, me. this is your QR code on here. <laughs> <laughs> okay? We scanned it. Your name comes up. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> yeah, it is funny, Adam. Thanks. <laughs> Bum, bum, Sorry for the compliment. Oh, by the way, man, what's up, faggot? <laughs> yeah, what's up, faggot? <laughs> Whoa, Bo! <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, man. Elmer uh, Fudd goes home to his husband. Wow, he's that's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that this, was hate speech. Yeah. Fuck, I can't. You're right. I shouldn't try to be a hunter. <laughs> The other Republicans were mean to me. I thought if I just acted like them, they would accept me, even though I'm gay. But one of the rabbits called me a faggot. I say, I say, where's that rabbit? Yeah. That's his husband. You show me the guy who called you a fag. <laughs> He's fucking a giant chicken. This giant chicken goes and fucks up bugs for doing a hate speech on his gay husband, Elmer Fudd. A fucking Tyson. Listen, listen, I said, listen here, son. I'll show you a faggot if you want to see one. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, son. Yep, Foghorn punitively raping 